So, you decided to join the army, but you have either asthma or ADHD. Can you still join? Today we're going to tackle two of the most frequent medical related questions that I get on a pretty regular basis and that is, hey Matt, I have asthma, I used to have asthma, or I have ADHD, I used to have ADHD, can I still join the military? I'm really wanting to join the military, can I still join? Now before I get started on this video and before I start talking about whether or not you can or what are going to be some limitations that you might have. Uh, in trying to join, I do want to say that no matter what medical condition you have, even if I'm telling you right now that it is going to disqualify you, I would still say to you guys to go and speak with a recruiter. You may find a loophole somehow one way or the other, but go speak with your recruiter regardless of the information in this video uh, and just let them know what your medical condition was. It doesn't really matter what it is. You just need to talk to them. If Even if I tell you, hey, you're not gonna be able to join, just call for a recruiter, say, hey, just wanna confirm this uh, because they are going to be the final say so, not me. With that being said, asthma, okay? So if you used to have asthma or if you currently have asthma, are you going to be able to join the military or the army in general for my case, right? Uh, the big thing here that the military is going to be looking at is if you have been diagnosed uh, with asthma, if you've gone to a doctor and they have said you have asthma after the age of 13, then that is going to present an issue to you. So if you've ever had asthma before in your life and it was whenever you were younger because asthma is one of those conditions that people will generally grow out of as they get older. So if you were ever diagnosed with asthma, at the age of 13 or younger. So if you were a little kid and you had it, but now you're 17, 18 years old and you haven't had any issues with asthma, you haven't had an inhaler or anything like that, then you should be good to go. But the disqualifying thing here uh, that the military is looking at is that is if you have been diagnosed with asthma after the age of 13, okay? So that is more than likely going to disqualify you again you still need to talk with the recruiter because there is a, a few descriptions and stuff in the actual army doctrine on uh, the regulations for joining the military on uh, with this asthma in particular. And there's like bronchitis, there's all these different things that you're gonna want to go in detail with with your recruiter and your specific uh, scenario. But if you did have asthma before 13, you no longer have it anymore, you should be in the clear. And that is what I want to uh, let you guys know in this video. Otherwise, you might have an issue, but still go and speak with your recruiter. You know, maybe you were 13, 14, uh, 15 years old, you were diagnosed with it, and now maybe you're older, maybe you're like 25 or something. That could also be uh, a thing to think about. Maybe you haven't had your inhaler for 10 years, but you did get diagnosed with it whenever you were 14, so that could be a case. But regardless, again, guys, go and talk to your recruiters about it, but you should be good to go if you were diagnosed before 13. ADHD. This is another one of those really big medical questions I get all the time. And again, if you have it, uh, make sure you go and talk to your recruiter. If you are getting medications and stuff like that, you need to let them know. And obviously, you shouldn't lie about these things. So in the previous case with asthma or with this case with ADHD, uh, if you are taking medication, if you have your inhaler, don't lie about that because that could be really bad, right? So if you have asthma and you wanna try and sneak uh, that through, like you probably could, and once you get the basic training, you might have an asthma attack and if you don't have your inhaler on you, then you could die, right? Or if you are, if you currently have ADHD and you're taking medications for that, if you lie about that, your medications, whenever you get the basic training, are going to be given to the drill sergeants. You're not gonna be able to keep anything. Even if it's ibuprofen or something like that, something super simple, you're not gonna be able to keep any medications with you so if you do have ADHD and you're wanting to try and you know join the military, uh, first of all, I don't recommend lying about that, but you're not gonna be able to get the medication that would you know help you with your situation, right? When you're at basic training. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, what are the disqualifying factors for ADHD, right? So the big thing here is if you have taken medication for your ADHD within the past year, then that is supposed to disqualify you. That's pretty much straight 
cutthroat like within the past year if you've taken any medications for it then you're going to be disqualified now whether that's right or wrong then that's up for debate right but if you want to join the military you're currently taking medications if you can stop and then wait a year and then you can join you should be good to go but currently the way it stands right now things may change in the future they've already loosened up the uh, rules for ADHD in the past uh, so you never know it may be even more laid back in the future but as it stands right now if you take a medication in the past year you're going to have uh, you're gonna be disqualified from joining or you're gonna have a really rough time getting a waiver and again even if you do have medications right now you do want to speak with your recruiter maybe you can get a waiver for it somehow there's generally ways that you can get waivers for things and how long that can take I don't know but usually the process you'll have to go and consult with your doctor and you'll have to get written consent and all that stuff so if you do have any of these issues asthma ADHD you're currently taking medications or asthma was diagnosed after the age of 13 you're still still going to want to make sure that you talk to your recruiter and then they might ask you to go and speak with a doctor you might get some kind of written note from them in order to help you out with your waiver if you can get a waiver so that was a pretty quick video just answering two questions I get on a pretty regular basis but before I finish this off I do want to mention one thing pertaining to the asthma portion of this video if you do have asthma if you had asthma I really don't recommend that you try and keep that from your recruiter and try to join because you know maybe even if you did have asthma before the age of 13 and you want to maybe not talk about that with your recruiter uh, it could just be something that uh, might just not have occurred with you or had an issue come up in the past few years maybe you're 17 years old and you know you were diagnosed with it when you were 13 but you know past the age of 13 you haven't um, when you go to basic training, when you're in these scenarios, you go to the desert, there's going to be a lot of dust, you're going to be doing a lot of physical activity, a lot of things that you've never done before, you're going to be in places that you've never been before. And so if you do have asthma, definitely don't try and join like if you currently have asthma, but you know in the past you still might want to get your doctor's approval and stuff like that because uh, again, you're going to be in situations, places, around things that you've never been around before. So you never know if a situation might occur again and that could be really bad. So that's it for this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you can leave your comments in the comment section down below. If you want to like this video, you can like this video. If you want to stick around for some more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button. That would be awesome. If you want to hit me up on Instagram or Snapchat, the link is right there. I uh, hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys later. Drop.